Hi students, this is Alex here. In this problem they have given the students in a class are selected at random one after the other for an examination. We have to find the probability that the boys and girls in the class alternate if. In the subdivision one they have given there are four boys and three girls. So let's take it here. The number of boys present is four and girls present is 3. Here we have to take the bigger number. So first we have to select boy. Then we have to select a girl. Then boy. Then girl. Then boy. Then girl. And finally boy. So if we select in this order, as per the question, we are selecting the students at random one after the other and boys and girls alternate here we start with the larger one so that continuously we get alternate boy girl boy girl boy girl and then we have boy suppose if we start with the girl we select the girl first then we will select boy then we select girl, then boy, then girl, then boy. But number of girls already is 3. So already 3 girls selected. Now I cannot select girl, but one more boy is left. So if we go for this selection, then as per the question, it is not alternate because 2 boys comes continuously. That's why we have to choose from the larger number, the number of boy present is more. So the required probability is choosing the boy out of 4 from the total 7. So we take this as 4 by 7 into choosing a girl is 3 out of already one boy is selected. So remaining persons will be 6. Then coming to the second boy already one boy we choose. So now 3 boys remaining from the total 5 students. Then coming to the girl, now two girls will be remaining from the total four students. Then coming to selecting boy. So let's keep the reference. This represents the first one. This is the second one. This is the third one. Then this is fourth one. Now we have to choose boy. And already before that we choose two boys. So remaining will be two more boys out of the total three students. And coming to Next to selection girl, already two girls selected, so only one girl is remaining out of two students. And at the last we have one boy and total number of students also one. So we are going to calculate this. So what are possible we can cancel. So here it is 3 and uh, 2 which is 6. Again this 2 and 2 we can cancel. And again 4 and 4 we can cancel. 3 and 3 we can cancel. So totally the remaining is in the numerator only 1 and denominator it is 7 and 2 5 which is 35. Now coming to the second subdivision they have given the class consists of 3 boys and 3 girls. So they are in equal in number. So now when they are in equal in number we have to write two cases. The number of boys 3, number of girls 3. So the two possible cases are first we choose boy then girl then boy then girl then boy then girl this is one case other one starting with the girl so first we choose girl then alternate with boy then girl boy then girl boy so its probability is three boys out of six students then selecting a girl is three girl out of five students then again boy already we selected one boy now two boys remaining out of four students then two girl is remaining out of three students again one boy is remaining out of two students and one girl is remaining out of one student this is the first case in the same way starting with the girl is also three out of six then coming to the boy is three out of five coming to the girl two out of four coming to the boy it is two out of 3. Then coming to the girl, 1 out of 2 and the last is 1 out of 1. 
so we have to calculate this now we see both the terms are same so it is easier to calculate when i put 2 into just copy the one term 3 by 6 3 by 5 2 by 4 2 by 3 1 by 2 and last is 1 now let's cancel 3 with this 3 then 2 with this 2 and 3 2s are 6 then again this 2 if I cancel with this it is 2 times so totally the remaining is the numerator 1 and denominator 5 2s are 10.